Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Leo. Let's see what messages will come through for you guys. What do we have for Leo, please? Leo, in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video. Let's see. Let's get your oracle guidance first. But I'm going to read for you what the cards are saying towards the end of the reading. Okay. What message wants to come through for Leo? Wow. <clears throat> Happiness and forgiveness. I heard the word rest when I was shuffling. So some of you need to take a break. Um, I see a new beginning here in these, re uh, in these cards. Um, something that is requiring for you to let go of. Possibly forgive yourself as well. There is some, something that is weighing you down. There is something that is standing in the way of your happiness. That energy is right there in front of you. It is Leo. But we will see. All right. What messages do we have for Leo, please? Six of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. I see you walking away from something. I see you making progress. I see you indulging in something new possibly. Um, this is about still being hopeful. What is the Page of Pentacles? What is the Page of Pentacles? There you are with the strength. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the strength. I see you finding yourself, Leo. I see you finding yourself. And the time to come is going to be a lot about making decisions. It's also about moving forward and it's also about your self-control. I heard going on a journey. I feel like this is this is more so like an energy of you finally listening to yourself. Okay. There's also something new that I see you doing or that I see you very, very interested in. There's also a certain situation that has really tested your patience, Leo. Let's see. five of swords maybe you're walking away from a decision uh, from a situation 
you're, I, I, I accidentally said you're walking away from a decision. Are you avoiding making a decision? But I feel like you're walking away from an energy here that feels to me very deceptive. Page of Cups. Although I feel like you were giving into this with love. It's, it's almost like a sense of somebody, you know, when you're in love with somebody and you tolerate... You tolerate whatever they do, even if it's bad, especially if it's bad. You don't tolerate good things, but you tolerate when they do something bad. It's, it's like that energy. It's like, but I love them, but I love them, okay? And somebody playing mind games with you. For some of you, I feel like occasionally you would decide to give them a taste of their own medicine. But I think that you were really coming from a place of love. You're holding on to something uh, too tight. Um, and your challenge is to let it go. What is the Four of Pentacles? The lovers. A connection. This is a connection and this is a choice. Again, um, this is a choice that you have to make. I would have to clarify these cards. Give me some future energy for Leo. the hangman here nine of pentacles i see you focused on yourself mm -hmm. not very interested for some of you you may be coming from a place of love but you do recognize deep down inside that it's time to let it go it's hard to let go, but your challenge, I feel like for some of you, you just cannot do this anymore. That's another thing, but your feelings get in the way. However, there are definitely some mind games that are being played or that were played in the past. The month for you, I feel like is gonna be about moving on. It's gonna be about progress. It's gonna be about new ventures, money-wise, love-wise, you know, just a very adventurous energy as well as I see you staying true to your power or maybe your t patience might be tested okay moving into the future your focus seems to be directed towards your independence towards what makes you feel happy as a person um, there's a there's a change in your um, perspective What is he doing? What is that guy like? Queen of Wands. Absolutely. I feel like you're letting go and these these energies are getting stronger as we're moving on with the reading Leo because it's like you're getting your confidence back. You're taking that leap of faith towards something and you're possibly taking that leap of faith towards something that makes you very happy and gives you a sense of fulfillment that boosts your confidence. out of pentacles it almost tells me that leo when you were in a certain situation um your gut instinct was to pause and take things slow but at that time i, I don't feel like you did it surrendering to the divine wheel of fortune and change i feel like you're ready for a change
moon and I heard confronting your fears this is interesting not uh, sorry the king of cups wow I feel like you'll make peace with something because when I saw this card, I heard peace. And look at these fishes. We have fishes there as well. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces or somebody loves, you know, the beach or uh, somebody lives nearby, uh, you know, uh, near the beach. Somebody loves fishing maybe or loves swimming. Or somebody's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo and Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius, Aries, here as well, Cancer here as well. Let's see though. You're Leo, you're again and again showing up as the king here. Okay. Your person, three of wands and the tower. Yeah. Your outcome is the sun. Beautiful. Your advice is the eight of wands. Keep moving forward. Four of swords at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So this kind of tells me that there is something about making a decision. And I feel like you'll make this decision looking into the past or kind of like keeping the past in mind. It looks like you still wished for things to grow with somebody and you're showing up with a lot of love and you're making peace with the fact that you probably will still care but it's time to move on it's time to maybe let things go I feel like your intuition might be heightened at this time Leo also there's a lot that is coming to the surface there's a lot that you feel like you don't know about something is hidden or not revealed yet and it gives you that uncomfortable feeling however i feel like this is more so talking about confronting something that is within you but we will see let's clarify this first tell me about the moon tell me about the moon The tower and we have the tower here in your person feelings somebody knew that it wasn't gonna work out but I feel like it was you you were defending the situation or something that you knew wasn't gonna work out eight of Pentacles reverse with the death I feel like the situation got overwhelming for you that's why you're choosing here to move on maybe this looks like an ending that you just couldn't avoid or it just happened. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords for Leo. King of Swords. Detachment. Logical thinking. Reasoning. Um, oh, man. This also tells me that somebody... Somebody was lying here. Somebody was lying here. And it almost also looks like, I heard not what you hoped. So I don't know what is it about, but something turned out in a way that you didn't, you, you just couldn't imagine that it would go like this, probably. Because again, in your mind, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, you wanted for this to work. Page of Cups. Page of Cups, please. Justice. <laughs> oh man. So you defended the situation 
you were resolving conflict just because you were in love. It's like finding reasons to forgive somebody just because you're in love. Four of Pentacles to the lovers. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Letting go of a situation or making a decision to choose yourself. First of all, this is talking about choosing yourself. I feel like in a certain situation, you just couldn't be selfish. Okay. And secondly, I feel like this is talking about you having to let go of something that isn't working out, that is not stable to begin with. The lovers again. This is a strong connection. This could be a soulmate connection, Leo, because it's very burdening. It is supposed to teach you a lesson. And no matter how much you try, it's so difficult here. Something has become so difficult to manifest. So Hangman and the Nine of Pentacles, I kind of see you making peace with it, though. Yeah, Page of Wands. Some of you might be opening up to something new. Uh, this is being courageous to take a new path. This is a very fresh, enthusiastic passionate energy um i feel like you you're changing your approach i see you changing something in your life you know the way you do things or a new hobby a new venture that you're focused on a sense of independence queen of wands to the full please page of cups reverse knight of pentacles um some of you have learned an important lesson and you feel like you're never going to emotionally open up in a situation again unless you know that it is going somewhere. I also feel like you're taking things slow. You're looking back. You're realizing that maybe you became a little obsessive um, and you're freeing yourself from that confinement, but you're taking it one day at a time. Tell me about the King of Cups here. King of Cups clarified by the King of Cups. Sweet. But this is you. This is not another person. This is coming up in your feelings. You have a lot of feelings. King of Cups is somebody who's in control of their emotions. This is somebody who accepts what they feel. Um, you know, they're ready to offer. Mature, balanced, serious. You're recognizing that there is a reason why you decided to let things go. Or moving into the future, I see you in this energy. Why the King of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, again. I feel like you so wanted for the situation to grow, but you're, you're maybe deciding to leave it be. You're walking away sad. It's not that you wanted to, but you had to just because you will not settle here your person's energy is the tower with the three of wands leo if you want to know more about the person you're connecting with how are they thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome of ice love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it will be linked underneath the video okay i will also give you advice from spirit give me their person's energy Looks like this person is distancing themselves from the situation, but they know exactly what happened. They, they know. Knight of Wands. <laughs> oh. This is somebody who may have other options or maybe they had other options in the past. Again, Three of Wands, the Knight of Swords. I, I got this energy that this person is waiting for the right time to say what they want to say. But with the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, there could be something up with them. <laughs> okay, tell me more about this. Queen of Wands, there could be a third party. There could be somebody else in the picture. Um, I 
I feel like Leo, they're purposely not giving you the attention because they feel like, or giving this situation any attention. Right now, they're avoiding it. They're distancing themselves from the situation because they don't want to cause themselves any pain, which means they are affected by it. They just don't like to show it, okay? Uh, your outcome is the Sun card. Six of Wands upright. Page of Pentacles reverse. Oh, over here you have the Page of Pentacles upright. So there could be something that you will indulge in and you may later decide that this is not for me, okay? Um, so this talks about happiness, expansion, joy, um, recognition in your work, being in the spotlight even, being happy. Um, but don't make assumptions, I would say, Four of Cups. There is somebody here who could be making assumptions about you as well, but I feel like this is um, love coming your way when you least expect it. But is it coming from somebody who can bring stability to the table? Because we have King of Pentacles reverse. Your advice, Leo, is the Eight of Wands. Temperance, Eight of Wands. Balance is needed, self-control, patience. Uh, eight of Wands, forward movement. So things are moving forward for you. Healing, surrendering to the divine. Changes, just don't stay stuck somewhere. Okay, let's see. What do we have for Leo? We have the Grim Reaper and Abundance. Keeping a positive mindset. The relationship is over. No second chances. Absolutely. You're growing and transforming your life. And you're trying to keep a positive mindset. Okay. Money is looking good. For some of you, there has been a big transformation in regards to your money. Kisses. Falling in love. Love is coming in. Tell me about this kisses energy. Love. Okay. Okay. Love is coming in, um, Leo. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Um, I see you healing. I see you moving on. Something is going to be revealed to you. Coffin, ending, new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, twin flame. Photograph. There is somebody who misses you, thinks thinks about you, looking at your photos, nostalgia, or maybe you're looking at your photos from the past. Um, you know, memories. You know, when you're scrolling down your phone and you're like, oh, this is what I did last year. Great. Something like that. Somebody's work could be related to photography or camera or something. See. separation and mask sadness thinking of you missing you but mask masking their feelings so this person thinks about you more than you think they do heart with a key welcoming love i do see love coming your way i do and the strange thing is that i see a past person as well as a new opportunity that has showed up for a lot of people this month the past Probably because of the Mer Mercury retrograde. Let's see though. Let's read for you happiness and forgiveness. Let's read forgiveness first. It is human to want to hold on to the past or memories. I just said that. Experiences and relationships. However, there can be times when we are care caring too, so much. Sorry. When we are caring so much of the past that we can't fully see the present. The past doesn't need to equal the future. Just because you had a pattern or a recurring challenge in the past doesn't mean that it needs to reoccur in the future. The key is to be willing and ready to simply and cleanly let go of the hold that the past has on you. The past is gone and it is okay to let it go. 
The way to do this is to fully immerse yourself in the here and the now. Be super aware of the sights, sounds, smells, textures, and the energy of your present. When you do this, the past simply vanishes and the glory of the present emerges. So your happiness lies in the present moment. In what is in front of you. Right there. What you have today. And it lies within you. Do give this video a like if the message resonated with you or anything from the reading that you took positively. Also, your extended will be linked underneath the video to find out more about the person you're connecting with, what's happening next, and your advice from spirit, okay? Click your heels and shout for joy. The signs are with you. Let your light shine. Abounding good luck awaits. A gateway is opening for even more joy and happiness. Your life is expanding. Opportunities are emerging. This is a time to go forward with glee. Love deeply and fully. Embrace life with open arms. Goodness is flowing to you. The only thing to be aware of is to monitor your expansion in a metered way. Too much too fast can be overwhelming. So that's about it. Those were the messages that came up for Leo. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the reading and check out the extended link below for further clarifications about your person and what's happening next in the future for you. Take care, Leo, and bye-bye.